Welcome back to Nippon Art Program. My name is Honjo Satoko. Please call me Sophie. I'll be your art navigator. I'm the founder of Creative Journey Japan, an independent travel agency in Tokyo. Today, I'm at Nagai Art Gallery in Ginza. Let me introduce the owner of this gallery, Mr. Nagai Vyunosuke. Hello, everyone. In this program, I would like to invite you to join me as I navigate through the world of Japanese art. I would say Nippon art. Nippon means Japan in Japanese. I hope you will discover more about the artist and their works and develop an appreciation for the rich world of Nippon art. I'm an art lover, but still so much to learn when it comes to Nippon art. I hope all of you enjoy these videos and learn along with me. Today, uh, we are holding a very special exhibition here. Various artists joined this uh, exhibition. How many artists uh, are participating? Uh, mm, 19. 19, 19. 19 artists. Exhibition of Sato Ichiro and his 19 former students. An homage to the pioneer of oil painting in Japan, Takahashi Yuichi. This time, 20 Ginza galleries have cooperated to stage exhibitions with the common theme, modern art starting with Ginza. By holding the exhibitions at the same time across 20 galleries in Ginza, we would like to celebrate the modernism in Nippon art. Ginza is one of the most glamorous places in the world and there are more than 100 galleries located here. Historically, Ginza became known for the latest fashions and trends in Japan, owing to its location close to the first railway between Tokyo and Yokohama, the first port to open after the end of Japan's isolation. This reputation continues to this day. It is right in the heart of Tokyo and home to Japan's oldest department stores and famed for its stylish boutiques and chic coffee houses, but it still retains its local character and people here in Ginza are very warm, kind and friendly. You may not expect to find such a strong local community in the center of a global city. Japan's modernization started during the Meiji period, 1868, when the feudal system ended. Japan was closed to foreign countries for over 260 years under the isolation policy, and so European oil painting was not known. However, once introduced, it didn't take long for Japanese artists to learn oil paintings from Europe. It was in Ginza that Japanese artists who had mastered these new techniques exhibited this art form for the first time in Japan. Nippon art developed, melding traditional perspectives of beauty with new techniques from abroad. More and more people from all over the world became interested in Nippon art during the modernist period. We would like to introduce a pioneer of oil painting in Japan Takahashi Yuichi, and 19 present-day artists who were influenced by him. You can feel the deep beauty in modernist Nippon art and its close relevance to contemporary Nippon art today. Takahashi Yuichi was born into a samurai family in 1828. During the Edo period under the feudal military government, he is noted for his pioneering work in developing the Western style art movement in late 19th century Japan. He was interested in art from childhood and started his career with an apprenticeship at the Kano School, but later he became fascinated with Western oil painting. In 1866, Yuichi went to Yokohama to study under the English artist and cartoonist Charles Wergman who was so impressed with his talent that he sponsored him participate in the Paris World Exhibition of 1867. We have displayed a print of his masterpiece salmon here. There are many Japanese painters who adapted Western oil paintings after the Meiji Restoration. But 
Yuichi is set to be the first Western-style Japanese painter in Japan. Because he had a comprehensive training in Western oil painting techniques, but he used this te technique foundation to express the daily life of Japan from a Japanese point of view. His name Yuichi in Japanese sounds the same as only oil. This was not the name he was given at birth, but the one he took later in life. It shows his devotion to oil painting. In this exhibition, an homage to Takahashi Yuichi, Professor Sato Ichiro and his former 19 students use the special oil paint named Yuichi. Developed by Tokyo Fine Art University Technic Materials Laboratory and Hulbane Works Limited. Yuichi oil was designed specially for the Japanese climate, its tolerant of the severe heat and humidity in Japan, and retains the original properties that is long lasting, clear and bright color, even under big fluctuations in temperature. I hope all of you enjoy seeing the evolution of Nippon art in this exhibition. So, we have a book of the 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 よく長谷川さんはこういうザクロを入れることで先人たちへの自分なりの思いを捧げるという表現をよくしていますでこれはまあ油絵で、まあ、板に油絵と天ぷらで描いた作品ですね。はい Mr. 長谷川賢治、うんうん uh, The salmon and pomegranates The salmon is the representative work of Takahashi Yuichi So he painted salmon and、uh, Um, pomegranates, the symbol of the prosperity.、So, uh, let's check the price for this. Right, so including the flame, the flame is very special, handmade of the artist,、um, 600,000 yen. はい、えー、次がですね、こちら、えー、高木浩二さんの「レイはオイラン」という作品です。実はそのオイランというのがですね、あの日本の文化で、えー、吉原というのがあったんですが、そこにいたまあ友情をモデルにした作品、あの高橋一の代表作であります。それに対するオマージュということで書かれました。で、高橋さんはずっとドイツに在住で、ほとんどあの。こうの西洋の女性を描くことが多いんですけれども今回「ユイチ」がテーマということで日本女性の、えー、現代におけるオイラン的な姿をこういう形で素晴らしいあの表現で、ね、描写されています。油絵ですね。So Mr. Takagi Koji、uh, painted the lady.、Um, she, she's not、uh, the、uh, geisha. She's not.、Uh, she's the queen of prostitute. So, the most expensive cold girl that is called Oiran in Japanese.、Um, Takahashi Yuichi also painted、uh, the Oiran lady, and、uh, Mr. Takagi Koji、um, gave, uh, painted the, the same Oiran from the modern times. But we don't have the Oiran system, the prostitute system anymore. But Takahashi Yuichi was born from、uh, the Edo period that was under the military government when, when the、um, prostitute、mm -hmm. was、uh, legally permitted. So <laughs> the lady queen prostitute、mm -hmm. um, was from that era. So it、um, must be super expensive.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> the most expensive prostitute. Let's. こちらは、えー、90万円です、ね。Right. So cheap.900,000 yen.、はい、次はですね、こちらの作品、えー、秋元隆行さんのこれ、あゆという作品で、今回の展覧会のメインビジュアルで、えー、使わせていただきました。えー、これ、まあ、あの、鮭へ,へのオマージュですね。これ、見えづらいんですけど、キャンバスに墨とレッドファイトという、あの唯一という油絵の具を使った作品です。So,、um, Professor Akimoto Takayuki、uh, painted、uh, sweet fish as an homage 
for Takahashi Yuichi. Mm. Um, imagining of his samurai, I think. Mm. So he uh, used the um, charcoal, no, Sorry. the block paint, mm. Mm. and the Yuichi oil painting, mm. white mm. Yuichi mm. oil painting. Mm. Um, let's see the price for that. これスペシャルプライスでこれ10万円。Right, it's a, a bargain. <笑>バーゲン。100,000 円。<笑>これ正面からだと見えづらいんだけど、横とか下から見るとなんか浮き上がって見えてくるんですよ。うん、right, so it's a different. It looks different from the different angles. Very unique work. Unique work. <笑>え次がですね、こちら、えー、佐藤一郎先生の。えー、高橋雄一に敬意を払った松島五大道図という作品ですね。はい、でこれはあ,のある種水彩紙に鉛筆雲も、えー、の水彩絵の具で描かれています。でこの五大道というのは、ね、あの伊達政宗が、えー、江戸初期に、ね、作られたものでもう地元のも名所ですけれども、まあ、佐藤先生、まあ、仙台ご出身ということで非常に思いを持ってこの作品を描かれました。Gave an homage to the Takahashi Yuichi as uh, uh, drawing the uh, prayers of the Buddha, Buddha in the Sendai Miyagi Prefecture. It's a little hutch、uh, built in the early、uh, 17th century.、Mm-hmm. Beautiful carvings you can visit now, it exists. 実際の高橋雄一の原画もねもっとあの大きな絵なんですけどこういうあの作品で油絵で描かれたものが、うん、それに対してのオマージュですね。はい。そう高橋雄一 also、uh, うん、painted with oil、うん、the same prayer house、うん、ご,ご,ご大道だ、うん、in Japanese。So shall we？ ね、えー、こちらの作品は、えー、40万円ですね。Four hundred thousand yen。はいえー、次がですね、まあ、初出品なんですけれども鈴木純也さんの切り分けた鮭ですねで高橋雄一の鮭に対して、まあ、現代的な解釈をするとこういう切り身になるという描写になってますけど素晴らしいこれ描写だと思いますでこれ油絵の具と卵,卵、えー、エマルション天ぷらそれで実は白味ですねパネルで本当にあの、えーかなりも実績のある方なんですが、こういう値段をつけるのが今回初めてまあデビュー作ということで素晴らしい作品を出品していただきました。そう鈴木純也 painted the salmon cut for more than more than daily life.、Uh, we eat the cut salmon. So, but 高橋裕一、uh, the period in at that time in the salmon was hank whole. So the difference. But it's beautiful, very well、uh, described. And、uh, for the、uh, Suzuki Junya, this is the first time he、uh, prized his、uh, own original work because、mm-hmm. he's been working as a repair, re- repairing the, the old art works. So,、mm-hmm. very special work, beautiful. So,、uh, how much is it? えー、これデビュー作ということで実は値段は抑えてるんですけども40万円ですね。So his debut、uh, work, the price is 400,000 yen.、えー、今回紹介する最後の作品ですね。これこちら赤木紀道さんのおいらんまああのひらがなでおいらんというタイトルになってます。えー、高橋雄一のまあおいらんに対する現,現代的なオマージュということですね。でこの作品はですね、塩化スティック、ガムテンペラ、そして唯一の絵の具を使っています。塩化スティックっていうのは本当古代ローマ時代に使われたものを現代に赤木さんが復活をして独特のこの濡れ肌というかね、えー、しっとりとした味わいのある現代女性をオイランに重ねた作品ですね。赤木紀道、uh, painted once again オイラン as a homage to 高橋雄一 in his、uh, Very original, special way.、Um, as you can see, the, he, Akagi,、uh, created his own style、mm. of oil.、Uh, though he's using、mm. the same Yuichi oil,、um, the texture and,、uh, is very different. Very beautiful lady.、Mm-hmm. And the kimono pattern, the design,、mm. you know,、I'm, I think very beautiful. Pagani? Pagani? Botan? Botan.、Mm, So,、um, let's see the price for that.、Mm. Eh, 72,000 yen. 
Um, 720,000. Mm. Yeah. Any question about Nippon Art or Welcome? You can purchase all the works um, introduced in these videos and please feel free to contact us. The contact to Nagai Art Gallery is posted down there. And don't forget to read Sophie's Nippon Art blog on Creative Journey Japan too. Thank you very much for watching the video clip. Nippon Art, please subscribe it.